Well, as the story goes, Gerald Ford was a newly minted candidate for the United States House of Representatives in June of 1948. And he made plans with a reporter to visit the dairy farmers in Western Michigan's congressional district, first congressional district, fifth, sorry. It was pouring rain that particular day, and neither the journalists nor the farmers had expected the upstart candidate to keep his appointment. And yet he showed up on time because he explained to the journalists they milk cows every day, and besides that, I promised. Long before he arrived in Washington, Gerald Ford's word was good. During the three decades of public service that followed his arrival in our nation's capital, time and again, he would step forward and keep his promise, even the dark clouds of political crisis gathered over America. After a deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy, After a deluded gunman, assassinated President Kennedy, after a deluded gunman, assassinated President Kennedy, after a deluded gunman, assassinated President Kennedy, Long before he arrived in Washington, Gerald Ford's word was good. During the three decades of public service that followed his arrival in our nation's capital, time and again, he would step forward and keep his promise, even the dark clouds of political crisis gathered over America. After a deluded gunman assassinated President Kennedy, our nation turned to Gerald Ford and a select handful of others to make sense of that madness. And the conspiracy theorists can say what they will, but the Warren Commission report will always have the final definitive say on this tragic matter. Uh, why? Because Jerry Ford put his name on it, and Jerry Ford's word was always good. Hillary Clinton uh, is uh, likely going to be the Democratic nominee if you believe the polls now. Mm -hmm. Do you think America is ready for a woman president? I think that we'll you know, choose our president on the basis of uh, qualifications. And I think when I vote, it's going to be about national security. So far as I can see, the Republicans are stronger along those lines. But, but I have to admit to a certain bias here. Um, to get back to my book for a minute, it, it, in my book, there's a lot of genealogical research, you know, going back, Dick's family, my family, these heroic and amazing tales of people who went west. But one of the things I discovered is that Dick and Barack Obama are eighth cousins. What? Is that an amazing thing? Yes, if you go back eight generations, really? they have a common ancestor. So you're for Barack Obama? No, but I just I thought I should I should admit this uh, fact yeah. as uh, as uh, evidence that maybe I'm not completely but, uh, objective about Mrs. Clinton. But think about yeah. this: this is such uh, an amazing American story that yeah. that one ancestor, a man.